Hello and welcome to Mool Bowl, the Philippines. We're going to show you a little bit about the uh, nightlife down here by the beach and uh, show you Sunset Beach Resort as well. It's been a few days down here and it is finally coming back to life after two years of travel lockdowns that really devastated the whole uh, resort and hospitality industry as well as the airlines and everything else associated with it. Anyway, life is coming back. Uh, Mulvul is over on the west side of Cebu Island, about a three-hour trip uh, from Cebu City. And uh, anyway, this is we Easter weekend. Many people travel. Uh, malls are closed for a couple days, and Filipinos usually go with family or a group of friends, and they get out of town. For those of you familiar with uh, this resort town, it, it's popular with snorkeling and, and divers. They've got Pescador Island. They've got a couple different beaches. Uh, they've got White Beach further south from where we're at, which is more of a, a, a white sand type beach. And the beach area that we're staying near, uh, Pen, Peneg, so, Peneg Sama, how, however you pronounce that, uh, is a popular area. Many, many uh, different resorts, uh, long walking stretch. I'll do a number of videos. Uh, this is kind of a main road. This is where we end up eating in the evening. Betsy's, uh, I think something. Uh, anyway, a number of bars, resto bars, restaurants, uh, different stores. This was probably 9 o'clock, 9.30 at night, something like that. And um, a lot of people out having fun, but nothing like it was in normal times. Uh, a lot of the resorts are still, they were damaged in uh, middle of December last year, 2021. And they are still closed. Many of the big resorts are still closed, big and small. A lot of damage yet. I will show you that in a, in a coming up video. Uh, but there are shops that are opening up. There are, uh, we had a hard time finding bookings down here because, like I said, on Easter, everybody travels and there's a big demand. So with the limited supply, uh, because many resorts are still closed, uh, I think we got one of the last, last rooms at the place we stayed, and I'll show you that here shortly. But a little bit of nightlife. This is this is kind of a main road going down towards the beach, and then you turn right or left. And if you turn left, uh, that whole area there was uh, pretty dead. This happened to be, I think, it was a Sunday night, so a lot of people had left, uh, gone back. They have to go back to wherever they live uh, to work the following day if if they still have jobs. Uh, but a little bit, a little bit things going on and uh, as time goes on as long as these crazy governments don't decide to impose any other travel restrictions hungry monkey, hungry monkey. I think that used to be down a little bit further uh, to the left down here not positive and I'll show you I'll show you some of those buildings in one of the next videos Pescador Island just uh, very close uh, is a, a very popular dive location. They've got dive shops that are open. They've got the Sardine Run. Uh, you can go right out here, right straight, almost straight out here, and see millions and millions of sardines. And uh, I'm going to show you some. Th there are a couple areas down here. We're getting, we're getting close to the beach down here, and uh, tricycles like the one just passed are. Uh, one of the main ways to tra get transported around here, 150 pesos to go into town. We're, we're a little ways from the what you might call the downtown area, and about 150 pesos is the normal fare, about three U.S. dollars for about, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten minute tricycle ride. It's a little, uh, a little bit dark, and these GoPro cameras are not that good at uh, night photography. But anyway, you've got, as we go down here, the beach is straight ahead here. You've got a number of uh, resto bars, a uh, number of uh, 
Oyo, I think, is a chain of cheaper, generally cheaper uh, hotels. Taverna is a is a chain, kind of a Greek type restaurant, and a number of them here in Cebu City as well. And that was pretty popular. We we got our food there one time. We brought a lot of food to cook. We we were with a group of people. I think in total we rented four rooms, and they the prices were up because of the demand over the holiday, but. Uh, Anyway, uh, we're down, getting down right down here. You, you, you will run into the ocean down there, or you take a right or a left in this resto bar, three stories. And a lot of people are up on that very top story up there. And I uh, did not get up there, but uh, would be worth checking out. Now, what I found uh, is that on the back side, on the, on the sea side, Instead of going down the street, there are a couple of bars, restaurants, um, resorts, and this particular one, I'm going to walk up, and you can only access it from the seaside. So uh, during high tide, the water comes up pretty much up to those steps, I think. Uh, but anyway, we stopped and had a had an interesting, and you can see some of the others. This is from the seaside. Uh, I think one of those is a resort. They've got a restaurant kind of out, out towards the sea, so a really great view. Very clear, warm water to swim in. And here we'll take a look at Sunset Beach Resort. A uh, friend of mine, uh, the group that we went down with, they, they found this. And we were going to go down a couple days earlier, but virtually impossible to find rooms on uh, the 14th and 15th of April, the Easter, the uh, uh, Thursday and Friday. Morning. Uh, the malls are closed. Most businesses are closed uh, in the Philippines and Cebu City, anyway. And so that's when most Filipinos travel. Anyway, we couldn't couldn't find any available rooms, so we went a couple of days later. And even then, I think uh, a little bit of damage still from the typhoon up there on the roof. That was my room up there. And uh, nice, nice area. The rooms were were very large. I'll sh I'll show you uh, my room here in a bit. But you're right on the ocean. You are indeed on the beach. Uh, this this beach is not a sandy beach, but uh, you can go out and enjoy. It. A lot of people did went out and enjoyed the swimming. Well, Thomas, <coughs> this looks like a it. Uh, Nice little pool and looked like a jacuzzi, but I didn't see any, any jets, yeah. so I'm not sure if they just, at times, they warm that water up or, or what the deal is. Uh, but anyway, still doing a... Morning. It was relatively quiet here. There was a time where there was huh? a, a group oh. that brought their own boom box, and I, I think they were, they were helping to do some repairs or something, but I, you know, I asked them, you know would really like a little peace and quiet. They, not everybody at a resort wants to listen to the, your type of music. And they were real uh, nice about it. They turned the music down. There seemed to be a pet friendly place. I think mean, they had like four dogs on site. And you can see it's not, not really a sandy, but uh, you can go out there and swim, high tide and low tide, and uh, they have they have people you can go out. You can set up uh, the dives, the snorkeling. Uh, some of the girls went out early in the morning, uh, one morning to to watch the sardines, and uh, I think it cost them 500 each, I believe. Uh, one one uh, guy come up and. Uh, that includes the mask, mask and snorkel, and they take you out a little ways so you can watch those sardines. You don't have to go out very far, but uh, yeah, great, uh, great little place. And uh, I'll show you the room now. Don't quote me on that price. That that could have been uh, a little different package deal because it was a group of people. But uh, I think somebody told me it was like 500 pesos each. Um, could have been a thousand each, not sure. But anyway, here's the room, very large room, and they've got a they've got a 
we never turned the television on, didn't come down here to watch television, but they've got a mattress on the floor, and they could probably put another one down there if you had, it could, could be, it could be a family room. You could get a lot of people in there. And uh, ocean view, and uh, we were originally told that they only had a fan room, no air conditioning. They only had a fan room available. But well, when, when they got there, they did indeed. I don't know if somebody canceled or what, but uh, they had an air conditioning room. The fan room was going to cost us 2,000 uh, pesos, about 40 U.S. dollars. Uh, this one costs us uh, 2,900 pesos, I believe. There again, it's a holiday, so the rates are higher than normal. The bed was quite comfortable, in my opinion. The um, the uh, you know one thing I always I often carry is some ant ant spray because various resorts, places I've stayed, hotels I've stayed. Uh, sometimes they've got ants a ant issue, uh, and uh, you know I'll spray a little bit so they're not not, not bothering me around the bed or something. And uh, there's the stairs coming up. But I did not, I don't think I saw one ant or, or mosquito. I did see a couple of mosquitoes. But anyway, nice shower. The shower was, had a, uh, a water heater in it, and it was already set to a nice temperature. And we've got a balcony, and a balcony, a nice sized balcony as well, which was uh, another big added, uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't go out and spend much time out there, but uh, we could have. We could once the sun gets at a certain angle, so you got some shade out there. I was a little bit concerned about uh, parking availability because these streets are very, very narrow, but there are over there, I think it's 300 pesos, about $6 for 24 hours. Anyway, a lot more videos coming. Uh, thanks for coming along. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.